make the difference. You want to overpower your opponent by just jumping higher than him, then this video is perfect for you. I created a jump height training program for you that is based on science and uses plyometric exercises to increase your vertical speed and some explosive exercises to work on your speed on the ground. We are going to start with some very easy exercises and make our progress through increasing the difficulty over the duration of this training program. First things first, let's start with the warm up. To make sure you are ready to perform 100% jumps and to avoid injury, we are going to start by rotating our ankles for 20 seconds each side. After this, we are going to mobilize our knees by rotating them as well for a total of 20 seconds. Next up, we are going further upwards and warm up our hips by rotating them 10 times per side and per direction inwards as well as outwards. We also want to make sure our back is ready for the landing of every jump. For this we start by rotating our upper body 15 times to the right and 15 times to the left before we are going to turn our whole upper body 10 times from one side to the other. After this we are going to swing our legs 10 times each side from front to back as well as from left to right. If you have problems with your balance in this exercise, you might hold on to a wall or something like this. To round out our warm up, we are going to do some movement preparation. Start with pulling one leg sideways to your body before going into a side lunge seven times. Then we are going to pull our leg straight upwards before going into the frontal lunge also seven times. After this, we are going to finish our warm up by going into a pyramidical push up position and touch our toes diagonally for 10 times every side. Let's get into the main part. The training program is going to take a total of 6 weeks with different exercises every single week. So make sure you watch the whole video to make sure that you are getting the right exercises to maximize your gain in jump height. Week 1 starts quite easy to prepare you for the load in the following weeks. For the first exercise we are going to do 2 times 14 side to side ankle hops with 30 seconds pause in between. The next exercise are going to be 2 times 15 standing jump and reach jumps with 1 minute pause in between the sets. After this, you are going to round out your week 1 session with 6x6 six six front cone hops with 30 seconds of pause between each 6 jumps. Please don't forget the cooldown after each session. This part will be mentioned at the end of the video. Let's get into week 2. Like in the first week, we are going to start with 2x14 side to side ankle hops with 30 seconds pause in between the sets. After this, we are going to do 5 times 6 standing long jumps with a short break between each jump and 1 minute pause after every 6 jumps. The third exercise are going to be 2 times 15 lateral jumps over a barrier. You can use pretty much everything as a barrier as long as you can jump over it. Keep in mind that you start the second set from the opposite side compared to the first set because we have 15 jumps. The last exercise in week 2 are going to be 5 times 6 double leg hops carried out as quick and as high as possible with a 30 seconds pause after each 6 jumps. Don't get confused by the similarity of exercises between week 2 and 3. We are going to start the third week by 2 times 12 side to side angle hops including 30 seconds pause between the two sets. After this, we are going to perform 4 times 6 standing long jumps as far as you can go, with 1 minute pause after each 6 jumps. This exercise is going to be followed by 2 times 12 lateral jumps over a barrier, also including a 1 minute pause after 12 jumps. Next, we are going to do 3 times 8 double leg hops as quick and as high as you can go with 30 seconds pause after each 8 jumps. Lastly, there will be 2 times 12 lateral cone hops 
also done as quick and as high as possible with one minute pause after 12 jumps. Week 4 is going to be a little bit more intense. The first exercise of this week's sessions are going to be 4 times 8 diagonal cone hops including 30 seconds pause after each 8 jumps. Second, we will do 2 times 12 lateral cone hops with 1 minute pause between the sets. Third, we are going to engage in 4 times 8 standing long jumps immediately followed by a vertical jump. While there is a short pause after each vertical jump, there is a one minute pause between each set. After this exercise, we are going to perform four times seven single leg bounding jumps with 30 seconds pause between each set, resulting in a total of 14 jumps for each leg. Continuing with single leg jumps, we are going to round this week's session off with four times six lateral single leg jumps also including 30 seconds pause between the sets. Week 5 is going to be similar to week 4 but we are going to include some exercises to improve your coordinative skills. In week 5 we are going to start with 2 times 8 diagonal cone hops with 30 seconds pause after 8 jumps. This exercise is followed by 4 times 8 lateral cone hops also including 30 seconds pause between the sets. As third exercise, we are going to do 4 times 7 standing long jumps, immediately followed by a max height vertical jump. There will be 1 minute pause after 7 vertical jumps. Next up, we will engage in 4 times 6 cone hops with a 180 degree turn and a 1 minute pause between the sets. Like in week 4, we are going to round out the training with single leg jumps starting with 4 times 7 single leg boundings including 30 seconds pause. Lastly, we are going to finish the session with 2 times 6 lateral jumps with a single leg, also including 30 seconds pause. Week 6 offers a little bit more variety and also includes exercises to not only improve your jump height but also your agility and your sprinting speed. For the last week, we are going to start with 2 times 12 diagonal cone hops, including a 30 seconds pause between the two sets. After this, we are going to do 2 times 16 jumps in a hexagon drill with 1 minute pause between the two rounds. Watch this exercise carefully so you understand how to do it and keep in mind to do one set clockwise while doing the second one counterclockwise. The third exercise are going to be 4 times 6 cone hops with each set being followed by a very short sprint, also including 1 minute pause after each sprint. This exercise is followed by 3 times 8 double legged hops done as quick and as high as possible and also including a 1 minute pause between each 8 jumps. Lastly, we are going to finish our training program with 4 times 6 one leg lateral jumps with 30 seconds pause between the sets. Before we get to the cooldown, there are some important things I have to mention. First of all, if you want to do a training session together with me, I already uploaded the complete training session for every single week. You can find the link to each video in the description below. Second. If you measure your progress and jump height, please let me know in the comments below how much higher you jump after my training program. With that being said, let's get to the cooldown. For the cooldown, we are going to do some foam rolling. Foam rolling is scientifically proven to decrease the delayed onset of muscle soreness and decrease the perceived pain resulting from muscular overuse. Therefore, we are going to do 45 seconds of black rolling with 15 seconds pause after each muscle part. We are going to start with the front thigh before continuing with the outside part of your thigh. Keep in mind that foam rolling must not be too painful because your muscles will tighten when enduring too much pain. After this, we are going to continue with the back part of our thigh Lastly, we are going to continue with rolling over our calves. This procedure is then repeated on the other leg with a total of two rounds for each leg. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.